So we're going to start a new series here on the channel. Um, I thought something that would be fun and would make fun videos for you guys as well as give me a chance to work with my students a little bit more, sort of combine the two things together, this YouTube stuff with my actual gym stuff since I'm in the gym every day, is taking my students and I'm going to do a short private lesson with them. And then we're going to take bits and pieces of it and make it into a video. So today is the very first one. It's with my student, Corey. Corey's been with me for a little while now. And um, he wanted to look at some things from Turtle and also from um, escaping north south and along with that I end up taking a look with him because we roll a bit and I take a look at him with a few things on his butterfly card so um, between those three things that was what the private lesson was focused on um, and again we ended up giving a very simple detail and some basic ideas on what he can work on going forward a lot of it was literally just and this is how sometimes it works like he's a pretty skilled guy and so sometimes like you teach someone something and it's it was literally as little as we moved an elbow over about two inches right, right? and that's a uh, for a lot of you guys that have been training at Purple Belt and higher, those are a lot of times those little details you get uh, from the more experienced practitioners. But that said, guys, this is the very first one we're going to do. Uh, we'll go through these a bit, see how you guys like them. Um, but with that said, let's jump into this private lesson with Corey, and hopefully this is helpful to you guys. Else. So I can get to this position, this double over position, no problem. Mm -hmm. It's from here that I struggle, and then eventually either they get out or they reverse and get on top of me. Okay. I tend not to. I'll use the double. I'll use the double under for a second mm -hmm. to like maybe extend, but then I must always switch to like a front head or something like that. Mm -hmm. The reason being is like if you're here, if you stay over too long, it gets go ahead and lock it up. If you're not good with this position, like, I can start to shoot. I can usually from there, I'll catch I'll get to something like this, mm -hmm. and I'm okay. Okay. Right. Um, and and I want is you're going to be limited as far as like, like. Trying, you're going to be limited in the the ability to like submit someone or advance it. Yeah. Um. So you're, I would I would definitely make a switch to something else. Yeah. Let's see. So you play you play. Do you still play butterfly? Okay. All the time. Well, I know you hit that shin thing. So. Yeah, I just don't do shin on shin. I just okay. So no, no shin on shin. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So like Corey, um, he had a, he had, like he had this crazy like what was that thing? I've still got the scar. Yeah. Check this out. It was so. just like a crazy infection that basically there was a bruise and a bruise on top of it and then it got infected and I almost died, long story yeah. short. And it, may, it may have been from shin on shin and so now you don't play shin on shin. It's usually they're too tight for me to really get in. Mm. That's my struggle. Is that like their elbows are flared out this way but they're usually protecting their neck pretty well. Yep. So it's hard for me to get one arm in either for an anaconda or a dars. Okay. So I don't know how to like bait them to get that reaction. Well, here's a question to you. Do you have any qualms with getting around the back? Because like, for instance, if I'm here, like this is even with me sometimes, like if I'm here like this and I'm trying to get it and they're super tight and I can't get this fed through, then I'm like almost always gonna put up this blocking arm and shove here. And I can still go in and attack mm -hmm. the, the neck here and I can even come back afterwards. Mm -hmm. Like so like a lot of times, like if I'm here, if they're keeping that neck tucked, then I'll come around to the back and I can start to attack. And then let's say if you start, if I start really pressuring your head down and you uh -huh. lift up, hit boom, then the neck comes open up and I can come right back to it. Okay. Basically, it's like the way that I think about it a lot of times is like if if you know that my threat, like come back down. So if I'm here, if you know that the threat here, there's not to say there's not ways to deal with this, mm -hmm. but if you know the threat's here and the person's able to stay buckled in here, mm -hmm. then if I come back over here, come back in and then I start to like sit back in this back like I'm getting mm -hmm. ready to go and then maybe put a little pressure here and then switch back, mm -hmm. back into it if I want an attack, I could do it that way. Okay. Um, um, my struggle, especially with like higher belts is it just doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> because they're relentlessly attacking my arms or my neck. So as I'm trying to escape, that usually my escape gives them an attack, so then I have to defend that, and then we reset north south over and over again. What do you, what do you come down real quick? A lot of times I will flare my elbow mm -hmm. as they're trying to attack because that prevents them from getting my arm or whatever. Mm -hmm. My issue is the main def like the main escapes that I know either you push right and then yeah. you you do it that way, or you come here and then now you go to side control. Mm -hmm. But the issue is, a lot of times they just kill this this frame, they drop their hip, and then they just come right back into the north-south. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the north-south thing, it's a difficult position. Um, it's a difficult, because if you think about really what's going on, like, if you're trying to regain your guard, mm -hmm. 
I'm like the furthest possible place I can mm -hmm. be from those legs for me being able to come in. And that's, that's the, the big issue. Um, and the arms can be, it can be a big issue there too. Um, you'll do this sometimes where you, if that flares out, a lot of times this is where I try to start with this here. Yeah. But my position changes. Um, I do like the ability, like, like getting under here with your elbows. I don't really ever like my arms to separate. That's just me. Mm -hmm. I just, that feels good for me. Mm -hmm. And also when your arms start to flare out, I can, I'm, I can, I'm going to pummel, yeah. pummel. So butt. that's why I try to like shadow yeah. this way right here. But I do like the idea of keeping their arms up under and then pushing away from me a bit here, just to keep a frame so that you have some space from your head mm -hmm. and the legs here. Okay. What I tend to do here, like a lot of times I'll get here and I'll just have to hang out. So there's like two different variations, right? One is like, if I'm stuck, this is stuck. If let me switch my hand with the arms, if you're here, you got to be careful about the choke, but this is much easier to get out of, right? Because if we get both hands in here, then like I can easily come out to the side and I can put in this punch choke um, or just come up for a front headlock. But let's talk about this one. So this one, the one that I have the most success with, which is, I mean, still pretty simple. Again, I want to keep arms in. Again, if you can get your arms on the inside like you were, that's fantastic. If you get to like this most, to me, this is like the worst. Like my arms are stuck back here. I don't really have anything going on. I'll make some sort of push across the hips. I still like this whole pendulum, right? Where mm -hmm. I swing here and then bring it in here just like this. Now it's not gonna get, get me out of the position completely, mm -hmm. but it will change the orientation to a side control. And this is something that you do really well. You get opportunities to escape because you're good at defending, which is good because it's, you're hard to submit. So that, therefore you're gonna get opportunities. North-South can be one of those positions where you're like, all right, I'm gonna have to wait here for a second because okay. some big, big frigging 250 pound dude's just squeezing me. If you notice someone's coming around to North-South, mm -hmm. if you can try to make sure that their their hand never gets over here, like if you can keep this arm even down like here, like you're trying to escape here. If I can't really secure, I know this maybe doesn't feel good mm -hmm. with your arm being here, but with this, if you get up on the head here, you can twist your shoulders and you can turn towards me, like grabbing the head, put me like a headlock. Go right here like this. Okay. And then like from there, like you can either come up to your knees, mm -hmm. taking this one back, boom, there, come back down. Or the beautiful punch joker. Like grab the, here, check this one out. It's right here. Cause if I'm here, a lot of guys will still try to stay on top. Put this fist into my neck and then go over top with this hand. Like this here. And then from here you can squeeze. Yeah. So let it go. Let it go. Come up over the head now. Right in right here. Okay. Now we're turning. Now, it's not to say that this isn't without risks, because it has its risks, okay? But now if you kick this leg down, bang, come up to your knees. Now we're in a fight. Because you're, you're, you're sitting back and almost coming up like this, and I'm able to kind of sit back in base, you've got to get the angle in there. So, like, when you fall back, it should be to a hip. It's okay. so like when you're here, because like, you're getting a good job, like, sometimes of like getting a grip. But once we get, we've got to drop that hip and up, come up under here. Because okay. i got to get that angle. <coughs> do, do, you, do you feel that? Do you want know to talk about? Yeah. It's so like when you're here, like, grab one. So, there's a moment where you're getting here. And then what's happening is you're like sitting back almost like not even like that, like the, like the last time, which is like literally like, like this. And I was able to just base out like this and put my hand in. Get tight on those grips here. And then, yeah, now it's like that's I can't just base out. That, that's gonna involve difference. If we're here, like we're in position, so I'm going, I'm usually getting my head here and driving forward, or even sometimes underneath mm -hmm. here. 
then what you've got to do is you've got to hand fight and you've got to fight your head Just in. Just go back. Okay. That's the battle. Tight. Yeah. <laughs> so that was tight. Let's see if I can get it. Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I think my broadness just helps me survive. <laughs> <laughs> so there's Ooh. there's a sneaky one. So like it uh it doesn't work on everybody, so I wouldn't make this like your go-to counter. <laughs> like put me in the arm triangle or put me the, the north south, but like if someone gets like a north south when they're still up a little bit if you can get a deep grip here and put a figure four in here and we bring our knees to the chest and we can squeeze and it gets some people if you can catch their neck just right oh dude it's tunnel vision yeah, yeah. <laughs> but at the same time you're pulling on top of you so if they've got a good grip on you like i'm like my head's like turning bright red too so is it like a buggy choke no it feels similar to one maybe from my end Maybe it's just some degree as far as the position, but you know, it's still a little different. Oh, yeah. You have me pick. <laughs> and I make some mistakes. <laughs> what was the shit you taught me to? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not supposed to go. Uh, that was my fault, Ted. I, I'm not supposed to go up on the cruise because I'm supposed to go down. But I was like, screw this shit happens. <laughs> this is all part of too. So I'm kind of control the inside. Mm -hmm. Fight trains on the inside and pummel in there. Bang. Don't let me have the inside because this is the battle. This because. I can even I can just do that okay. and then get you back. So fighting that constantly like that. If you watch like a lot of good butterfly guards, mm -hmm. they're like this. We want to minimize the amount of space we have. You know, this is why I like jujitsu too. Like for posture reasons, it's so terrible because like <laughs> this is where we fight, right? Um, and so we've got to got to be good there.
right here. Come back down. So once you get here, if you get this position, take a big hard step out to the side, grab my leg. Now pick this leg up, dummy. So like we come out like this. Like we go, we're in here like this for this moment here. Take a step out, hit the angle here, pull the end out wow. and grab. And then you can even like slide. Get down. That's some good wrestling stuff. This basic stuff. Basic, basic for belt. wrestlers. So yeah, I think what's happening is is like, so right there, you had the elbows in, like, which is normal for you. Felt good defensively. There's just no threat of that to escape. Yeah. So it's like you're you're there, like you're defending yourself really well. Um, either get that pendulum going, because you're you're big too, so you've got good hips, big strong hips that you can move around and change the position. Um, or you're gonna have to make that like that 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 dis decision to like, all right, I'm gonna make a run for it because I, I can defend here, but I eventually want to get out, and so that would be. I think that's what's happening. I think you're you're in. You're getting so good at just defending. You're just like there, but you're like, well, you can't submit me. I've hit a plateau. With but that. I'm I'm stuck here too. Yeah, I just have to like eat shit for a minute. <laughs> well, I think what would be good for you is because it's like the survival game's good, so you have time to think, right? Which is most people most people it's the other way around, right? They like they can't think mm -hmm. because they can't survive. Well, you can survive just fine, obviously. So now you have to be willing to maybe get caught in some submissions along the way because you've got to start escaping. Mm -hmm. And when you escape, just like anything else, just like the top person, if the top person is going to start making an advancement to a position to submit you. There's naturally going to be movement, and with movement comes openings. Mm -hmm. With you, it's the same thing. If you're going to make an escape, you're going to have to make some movement go, and you have to move. And if you move, there's going to be openings. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to be at risk for submission, but without those, you're just going to be stuck there. Well